Hey everyone, how's it going today? This is Crypto Foxy. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel. So we're going to talk in this video about what happens next. What happens after Kudos gets hopefully accepted into the ASI, uh, Artificial Superintelligence Alliance? What's going to happen in, uh, you know, in the following days? So let's talk about that in this video. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, or follow me on X, depends on where you're watching. Um, following me or subscribing to me is free. It just means you want to follow my content. And if you're an ASI, uh, FET, kudos holder, you're probably going to want to follow the channel because I have updates on this all the time. So what we're going to talk about right now is... The ASI Alliance is voting now on a governance proposal uh, to accept kudos into the ASI Alliance. So they're not going to be a founding member, but they're going to be a part of the Alliance. And there's a few differentials uh, in accepting them as, as there was when the migration of the three major founding members occurred. So there is a little bit of difference, and we're going to talk about that and what's to come here in the video. So proposed conversion ratios and tokenomics. So this is something that we need to pay attention to because if you're a kudos holder, you're going to want to know, well, how much do I get with my kudos tokens? How much FET or ASI do I get? Well, they're going to have a token merger fee and that's going to be 5%. And the fee is basically as a non-founding member of the ASI Alliance, kudos has agreed all token merger transactions will be vested over a three to 10 month period with a 5% fee applied to cover marketing, research, development, integration, and legal costs. That's because they're not a founding member and that's what they've come up with as a, you know, as a conclusion. So the conversion ratio for that, um, so if you have about 119-ish kudos, you're going to get one FET token. Um, it's calculated at a 5% adjusted rate because of that 5% fee. So if a kudos holder has 119 kudos, this would be equivalent to one FET. Uh, public vesting is going to be three months. Uh, treasury vesting is going to be 10 months. And there is going to be an increase in FET tokens to cover the supply for, uh, for kudos entering into the alliance. There's going to be about 88, um, um, eight, almost 89 million new FET tokens minted to cover that. But we're also going to get, you know, the liquidity and all that stuff. So um, people who think that, oh, we're just going to mint, you know, 89 million FET tokens, that's not necessarily how it goes. They're also going to add the liquidity from uh, from the kudos uh uh, token that has already um, been accumulated, right? So that's basically what's going on there. The token merge process. Uh, so ERC-20 based kudos tokens can be converted into FET ASI through the Singularity DAO platform. Holders of native kudos tokens and self-custody wallets um, will have their funds converted at the predefined ratio during the network upgrade. So you don't have to do anything following successful approval of the proposal. So that ha they do have to you know, be accepted in and the vote has to go through in order for this to take place. So during this upgrade, Kudos mainnet will be halted and all token balances, including de uh, delegated tokens, will be uh, merged into FET ASI. So that is uh, basically what's going on there. Assets on exchanges should be withdrawn to a self-custody wallet in preparation for the halting of the Kudos mainnet and the delisting of Kudos from all markets. Just to be on the safe side, I always advocate for this anyways, because I really think that most people should have their their tokens in a DeFi wallet anyway. However, that's not always the case. Some people don't feel comfortable doing that. And I do have a Patreon, actually, if you do need some help in uh, you know learning a little bit about DeFi wallets and things like that. I'm, I'm definitely available to give you guys a hand if you need access to me uh, specifically, like one on one. You can uh, join my Patreon. The links are in the description of this video. So not to not to plug. I mean, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, if you do want help there, I am available for one on one help for sure. Um, so in the token merger timeline, we've already gone through all this. Uh, the votes already open and all that good stuff is already taking place. So the 24th, there's two days left. Vote ends on Tuesday. Ethereum network token merge will be open on the 26th uh, if this goes through. Upon successful completion of the merger, Kudos Chain will be merged into the FET ASI mainnet. This operation is going to take up to four weeks and complete it by the end of October. So week one to two, we're going to see Kudos FET uh, testnet startup. Week one to two, we're also going to see native chain validator switches. Week three would be network upgrade proposals on Kudos and FET uh, ASI native. Week four, we'll see Kudos to FET ASI native chain merge. And week four, um, hopefully at the end of week four, chain, merge, end. So that's pretty much what's going on there. That is the timeline. Um, so if you are holding your kudos in a, uh, a wallet, you're, you're good to go. 
after this is approved, it'll automatically be switched for you. There's a few other different scenarios and, uh, you know, I can, I can put this uh, article in the link, uh, in a link to the description, in the description down below. Oh my goodness. And uh, you can go through this and take a look at, there's a ton of different, you know, answers to questions over here. Um, you can go through and say, you know, okay, well, what, why do they want to introduce kudos? Okay. Well, it's going to give you the introduction there. Um, the merge token merge plan, the timeline, you've got all that good stuff here. Benefits to the AI eco, ASI ecosystem. We already know that I've done, I've done some videos on this as well before. Um, so I don't want to take up too much of the time there um, because I've already provided that information. So let's jump over. We're going to take a look at the chart right now. Uh, ASI FET is sitting at $1.62. We did have a little bit of a cool down period earlier. Uh, we can see that here today. So we were, we did dip down into like the 56 area, $1.56 uh, $1. area. And we bounced back up over $1.60. Now it's sitting at $1.62. So, you know, obviously, you know, things are really heating up in the AI sector right now. FET is getting a lot of attention. There's a ton of social media um, presence and talk about it. Things are flipping back bullish, in my opinion. I think we're going to see a pretty good run out of this thing. But that's what I got for you guys in this video. Make sure you guys get your vote in um, by Tuesday. And, uh, you know, obviously I will put a link, like I said, for that article in the description of this video, just in case you have more questions. If there's something you can't figure out, drop in the... Drop, drop your question in the uh, in the comment section here below, and I'll try and get uh, get that figured out for you guys. So thanks so much for tuning in. Really appreciate your guys' support on my channel, my videos, and on my X account and such. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.